I'm JTB. I'm Benji. And we're with Breakthrough TV. Together we're breaking down. Thought that you was down. I thought you was down. You ain't never come around. No more. I need your touch right now. Um, I'm JTB. I'm from San Ramon, California. I'm Benji. Uh, from the same place. So. Yeah. That's where we met. Center Mom. That's, that's the place. Yes, sir. So the hood. The hood. Definitely. Right now, right now. Yeah, come on. Sliding in the bands, I'm going to pick you up right now. I started making music like my freshman year of high school. So like four or five years ago. Um, to be honest, I've never taken it that serious. So it's just kind of I just do it for fun because I enjoy it. But I mean, I guess if things become serious, I'll take it serious. Facts, facts. Um, I've been doing music, I guess you can say, since like freshman year as well. Um, I did music before that, but it was like just messing around, just trash. My music wasn't really good until I would say like my like probably senior year of high school. It when still I sucks, him. man. Yeah, yeah, our music <laughs> sucks now. It's so bad. Um, but um, taking it seriously, I mean, I haven't really taken it seriously until. Like I said, senior year, when um, me and him entered a competition for Coast to Coast, think, like just as a joke, and then we got like first place. And then I think that's when I kind of realized, like, oh, we kind of could do this if we really like put our minds to it. But um, yeah, basically. I know. Well, it was love at first sight, honestly. When I first saw Ben, when he was um, a freshman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but um, no, we. He had a friend. Um, his friend Mike. Him and his friend Mike. Hey, make shout out Mike. Man. Yeah, shout, shout out to him. Um, they like made this song called "Haters Gonna Hate" and asked me to be on it, and so I hopped on it. It was it's it's, it's a great song. You should definitely go check it out. But um, you know, we start I start going to his house a lot more. It's kinda how I met him. Um and then we just started making music just for fun, just joking around and stuff. And then yeah. But you saw used to it. You live a Yeah, it was when we first started it was like how it was now. You know, we just send each other music and just do it. Yeah. yeah. I mean it definitely got better though as time goes on. You have to find a blueprint. We start to find our sound. Yeah. Like I used to be the guy on the chorus singing and it just it was not it, you know, and now he's singing and stuff and it's just you just stick with it and it just works, you know. And you always hard, you ain't take no breaks. You know I get you. Yeah, we never we never really um like when we first started we weren't really saying oh like yeah, we're just making a group. Yeah. I just send you some stuff and we just do it and then just naturally kinda of progress. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, going back to that competition, I think that's when we like formed the duo. Like at the time, I had a previous rap name, Jonan DeVars Barian, like just like messing around with it, and it was just too long, so I changed it to JTB, and we made a song with 30, um, 32, and so we had a cover art, and it said JTB, X32, X Benji, and so he was supposed to be in a competition with us, but some personal things happened, and then he wasn't able to come, and so we ended up having to take his name out of the middle, and so it just ended up being JTB, X Benji. And it just kind of rang, we just kind of stuck with it, and we just started making songs together ever since then. Nine to five, all the time. Number one, Michael Jackson. It's my, I'm just, like, I've loved Michael Jackson music ever since I was little, so I've always looked up to his, that stuff. Um, and like currently, you know, Brent Fires, Drake, um, just all those, like, pretty much most of the main guys, J. Cole, Kendrick. Um, yeah, pretty much. It. Yeah, facts. Um, I mean, growing up, I listened to a lot of like Big Sean. I was a big fan of him growing up. I wanted to be just like him. Um, he he was definitely a big inspiration. Right now, I gotta say my inspirations probably would be definitely Kalen for real, for real. I love him. He's a great, great artist. Um, I listen to a lot of like K Camp. I feel like he's definitely underrated. Um, and Mainstream wise, I would say Drake, J. Cole, of course, um, and yeah, and ben, Big Sean, so definitely. But a lot of love, I love a lot of artists. Call off. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in the stoop. I've been one. Uh, the way I make music, I don't, I can't really make like, I have to feel it. So like, I can go through periods of time where I don't make music at all for like a month, two months. Um, and then when I when it clicks, I make music. Then he clicks too, and then we just make the song. Yeah. But usually, I, I I can't make music like back to back. Like it takes me a while really to make a song. Yeah, and I think like we don't like. We don't take music to where it's so seriously that we'll ever, I don't think we'll ever be trying to compete against each other. It's like me and both have that like respect and like we both want to see each other, you know, like succeed and like definitely make it like, he has his own soul stuff as well, you know? And I put as the same amount of effort into, you know, trying to push that as if it was my own, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, we felt like we were, we were, we're brothers at the end of the day, we were friends before we, just music thing so it's never really like competing or like if he goes hard I gotta go harder like it's never like that it's just like we just do what's best um, to make the song perfect um, like and we're honest with each other you know like if I send him a verse he'll tell me hey that's sh that shit's ass you know <laughs> do it again you know what I'm saying so we do our best to make sure that like we're both delivering on a song and that people like you know, fuck with it at the end of the day. Yeah. Um. I mean, thought I was down. I kind of just we got the name. I got the name personally just from he sent a song called Leia. I don't know if you heard that track too. And you, there was like a part where like I thought he was down. You know, that's kind of where I got the name. Um. Uh. But basically, if he's kind of like in the title, you know, there's a lot of times where. We, we've had personal experience with women where, you know, we think all the signs are there, you know, like she's feeling that she's definitely, she definitely, you know, wants us at the end of the day, you know, and then you make that second step and, you know, it doesn't go the way it was supposed to go. <laughs> and, you know, you're like, I thought she was down, like, what happened, you know, and then we ended up, it just had a ring to it. Um, it originally was just going to be a song and then we turned it into a whole production, a whole tape. But that's kind of that's kind of the name came to be. So, yeah. Uh, we never really have dropped like a EP before, so we're like, kind of, we, it's time for one. Yeah. Uh, we, just, we were just dropping singles as like a group, and then um, we just had a list of songs. We we're like, let's put it together, and then we just did that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it ended up being a lot better than I thought it was gonna be too. So like, yeah. the features all. All the features on there, 500 Racks, Adrian <coughs> King, 32, Sutai, Kobo Love, and Elena Jolie. Everybody just, everyone just went crazy. And so, you know, props to them too, because it would not be a it's fire of production if everyone didn't come through. And so, yeah. I thought you was Man, we went through a lot of ups and downs, definitely. Um, some <laughs> yeah. series. No, I mean, was, was some flow, songs like, were hard to depends, like. Sober? Oh my god. Oh, we talk yeah, all day that's about kinda, that yeah. one. But, um, you know, Sober, I'm, it's probably the one I'm most proud of, though, because we just we went through a lot to make that song. To And it's Sutai did amazing on it. Definitely delivered on that. But, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it wasn't really, I wouldn't say it was that serious, like he said. You know, he just said something. Just did. I mean, you guys, yeah. What'd you think? Yeah. The process. I mean, it was <laughs> both the flow. Like, we just made the music when we, when we wanted to. Like, there was really no, like, exact set date but yeah yeah um i think a lot of people like what, what it do and like yeah. highlight and yeah um i think my my favorite is probably highlight or um sober like one of those two is probably my favorite um my favorite probably or actually I love us. Asking why and us. Too. Yeah, asking why and us, man. Those, yeah, those two, fun. those two are 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 dope. Um, definitely, definitely. We have a video coming for that too soon for us. So and highlight too. Yeah, and highlight and highlight. So, um, but asking why and us. Those are the ones I feel like I catch myself playing like over and over all the time. Yeah, those are hard. Yeah, but. Uh, It's a hard question. It's a vibey heartbreak. A vibey heartbreak, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta you gotta feel the vibe to connect, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
I um, definitely see us applying a lot more pressure than we usually did. Um, before, we weren't really shooting a lot of videos. We were just putting out a lot of singles and stuff. Also, because of corona and stuff. Yeah, and corona, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Now we're vaccinated, so yeah, it's great, right? Exactly, yeah. So now <laughs> we're touching the stage today. But, um, yeah, um, probably another project around the end of the year. Um, we already we already have a whole another EP already ready to, to put out if we really wanted to. Um, but probably taped it so well, better than I thousand I was going to do. Um, so one thousand streams per one, song. One thousand streams. Per song. So I mean, yeah. I thought we were gonna get like four hundred or something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like, and we, we got we got a lot more work to do. A lot more. We got a lot more places to go. But yeah, we'll get there. Sure. Yeah, we're just getting started. So yeah. yeah. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Hey, um. Well, this is my this is my this is one of my first times out in LA for like a while. I've never been here like. For music, it's always just soccer tournaments because you know I'm a soccer player, so yeah. um, being hired for music is like hella different. I've never experienced this before. I feel kind of like famous, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> I got like a tight schedule and shit. But um, I don't know. I like I like um, LA is for sure a different vibe in the Bay Area. Definitely. It's definitely more like fast paced, like they say. But um, I would say I, I kind of like that the fast pace, and I kind of like the how like. It looks like the mountain areas. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Bay is cool. I like, um, well, it's home, so, like, I feel the most comfortable there. Yeah. But, um, and yeah. It's just, the Bay sure. I mean, me personally, I, music-wise, um, I like L.A. music more than I like the Bay Area music. Um, but don't get me wrong, Bay Area music is still fire. Um, it's just, you know. I feel like with LA, I just catch myself always just listening to them, even on accident. I listen to an artist and I don't even know he was from LA. You know, I just, you know, the music down here to me, I feel like fits our vibe a lot more um, yeah. than home, which is weird considering we didn't grow up out here. Um, but another thing, too, I, I'd say the Bay Area, uh, you know, maybe it's because I grew up there, but definitely I'd say I like. Probably people a little bit more, you know. If like LA, everyone's hard working, which is true, which is good, you know. But you know, it's hard to like really meet someone like on a friend base level, and I know if I like, hey, this person just trying to be friends with you for this, you know. In the Bay, you know, I got all my brothers here, right? Even in the studio, you know. And I part of it's just growing up there, but you know, I feel like it's a lot easier to connect with people like, you know, on a friendship level out in the Bay. But in so LA, it's more, I feel it's like, more materialistic out here. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But um. But again, but I love LA. They, the people, a lot of people out here accepted our music, um, you know. And for us not being out there, you know, we're very humble for that, and that's great. So. Thank you, honestly. Thanks. Yeah, um, we have a lot of people that, you know, tend to look down on us sometimes when it comes to music. Thing. For me, definitely, especially in high school, um, you know, I perform in the rallies and. They didn't go according to plan, you know, people want to be jumping up, going crazy. And then I think it was one time, um, October, performed at our friend's party, Halloween. And that was like one of the first times that... At this party? Yeah, yeah, his party, yeah. We saw all the people's reactions yeah, to one of our songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, and it was insane. And so it's a great feeling. It's definitely a great feeling. Um, and we are... I don't look at them as fans. Um, I look at them... It's like just supporters. I try to connect with all of them. If they DM us, I try to have conversations with them all the time. And yeah, what do you think? Yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah, definitely coming out here. Like yesterday when I pulled up, I was like, yeah, I'm really here. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I never imagined myself to be doing this kind of stuff, but it's cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like people are starting to take our music more seriously. If I, before we were like walking like rooms and stuff and like we, we have little kids for people. So they're just like, all oh, these guys, and, you know, we don't look like art, like the typical artists that you see. And so I feel like people are starting to be like, oh, these kids are actually talented and it, it feels great, definitely. Yeah. I 